Chapter 22 The Amazing Power of a Bibliography Pilot 22 This chapter is a bibliography. And this bibliography has amazing potential power. For within it may lie the hidden button which pushed can be used to unleash the power within you the untapped, unused vast resources that you alone possess. And we hope it will start a chain reaction that will help you in achieving true success. For if you want to motivate yourself and others, say it with a book. Say it with a book. In success through a positive mental attitude the authors have used a technique that has proved exceedingly effective in their writings, lectures, and counseling service. We recommend self-help books which experience has proved cause a desirable and positive reaction in the reader. Now in the 20th century, America has been particularly fortunate in developing a group of authors who have the unique talent to write in a manner that sows seeds of thought which motivate those who are searching for self-improvement to find it. The reader reacts with desirable action. While some of the books we recommend are out of print, the universal truths contained in them are just as true today as the day they were written. And such books can be obtained from used bookstores or rented from your library. Again we urge you to read. Read everything you can find about those who had successful careers in your own field. Also read success stories about people in other kinds of work and find the common denominator. Share with others a part of what you possess that is good and desirable. Now that is what Nate Lieberman does. For many years he has been a manufacturer's representative. And he has had a magnificent obsession. Thousands of inspirational books have been shared by him. And it was Nate Lieberman who made Emerson and Mr. Stone close friends with the gift of Emerson's essays. And likewise he introduced him to the authors of Suggestion and Auto-Suggestion, The Law of Psychic Phenomena and Invention and the Unconscious, not to mention many more. Now this sharing of ideas and ideals is a marvelous thing you give them away and still keep them for yourself, too. Brownie Wise knows this. Brownie needed to support herself and her son, who was ill. Her meager salary wasn't enough to pay for her son's medical care. Therefore she obtained a part-time sales job for Tupperware Home Parties Incorporated to augment her income. She needed money. With it, her son could have the best medical attention. They could move to a climate that would help restore his health. Brownie Wise prayed for help. She found it. She read an inspirational book, Think and Grow Rich. She read it once and then read it again. In fact, Brownie read the book six times. Then she recognized the principles she was looking for and something happened. She made it happen. She saw how she could apply these principles to her own situation and these ideas were put into action. It wasn't long before her earnings from Tupperware exceeded $18,000 a year and within a few years more, her income was over $75,000 annually. In due course she became vice president and general manager of the company. Brownie Wise enjoyed the distinction of being recognized as one of the outstanding woman sales managers in the United States. She has continued her successful career and today is president of Vivian Woodard Cosmetics Corporation. This outstanding businesswoman's success began with a book and continued with a book. Much of her achievement is due to the successful motivation of her representatives. She shared what she had learned from reading Think and Grow Rich and bought copies of the book for her salespeople. Brownie urged them to read it as many times as she had, and to apply the principles to their own lives. Brownie Wise also shares other inspirational books. And the story of Lee S. Mittinger and William S. Castleberry, Ph.D., is another example of the value of books in achievement of success. These men help nature bring good health to men, women, and children through the sale of Nutri-Lite, a food supplement which contains vitamins and minerals. Their sales gross many millions of dollars annually. Mittinger and Castleberry read Think and Grow Rich. They assimilated what they read and got into action. Part of their success is due to their ability to motivate their distributors with mental and spiritual vitamins. They do this with the same book that inspired them. Each new employee receives an inspirational lecture course, teaching him the fundamentals of success. 
They distribute thousands of self-help books because they know what amazing effects these books have on people's productivity and success. W. Clement Stone uses inspirational literature extensively in his organization. His company buys thousands of books for distribution in employees, stockholders, and representatives. The success and growth of his companies are not accidental. How to read a book There is an art to reading a self-help book. When you read, concentrate. Read as if the author were a close personal friend and were writing to you and you alone. Now you recall that Abraham Lincoln, when he read, took time for reflection in order that he might relate and assimilate the principles into his own experience. It would be wise to follow his good example. Also it is wise to know what you are looking for when you read a self-help book. If you know what you are looking for you are more apt to find it. For if you really want to relate and assimilate into your own life the ideas that are contained between the covers of an inspirational book, work at it. A self-help book is not to be schemed through the same way that you might read a detective novel. Mortimer J. Adler in How to Read a Book urges the reader to follow a definite pattern. Here's an ideal one. Step A. Read for general content. This is the first reading. It should be a fast reading, to grasp the sweeping flow of thought that the book contains. But take the time to underline the important words and phrases. Write notes in the margins and write down briefly the ideas that flash into your mind as you read. Now this obviously may only be done with the book that you own. But the notations and markings make your book more valuable to you. Step B. Read for particular emphasis. A second reading is for the purpose of assimilating specific details. You should pay particular attention to see that you understand and really grasp any new ideas the book presents. Step C. Read for the future. This third reading is more of a memory feat than it is a reading task. Literally memorize passages that have particular meaning to you relate to problems you are currently facing. Test new ideas, try them, discard the useless and imprint the useful indelibly on your habit patterns. Step D. Read later to refresh your memory, and to rekindle your inspiration. There is a famous story about the salesman who is standing up in front of a sales manager saying, Give me that old sales talk again, I'm getting Linda discouraged. All of us may become discouraged. We should reread the best of our books at such times to rekindle the fires that got us going in the first place. Here then is a list of books. A few are instructional. The rest are self-help books that experience has proved can motivate the reader to desirable action. Each one of these self-help books that you own contains hidden treasures you can discover for yourself. But before you go over the list and thus complete your first reading of success through a positive mental attitude, let us once more remind you, share with others a part of what you possess that is good and desirable. And awaken the sleeping giant within you. Then this will not be the ending. It will be the beginning of a new era in your life. Make the ending what you choose. The Bible. A. Let us walk honestly, as in the day, not in rioting and drunkenness, not in chambering and wantonness, not in strife and envying. But put ye on the Lord Jesus Christ, and make not provision for the fleshly, to fulfill the lusts thereof. Romans 13 13-14, B. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Proverbs 23 C. If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. Mark 9:23, D. Lord, I believe, help thou mine unbelief. Mark 9:24, E. According to your faith be it unto you. Matthew 9:29, F. Faith without works is dead. James 9:20, G. What things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that ye receive them and ye shall have them. Mark 11:24. H. If God be for us, who can be against us? Romans 8:31. I. Ask and it shall be given you, seek and ye shall find, knock and it shall be opened unto you. Matthew 7:7. 7, J. Naked, and ye clothed me, I was sick and ye visited me, I was in prison, and ye came unto me. Matthew 25 31 35 
k, go ye into all the world. Mark 16 15, 1, For the good that I would I do not, but the evil which I would not, that I do. Romans 7 19, m, For what I would, that I do not, but what I hate that I do. Romans 7 15, n, Silver and gold have I none, but such as I have I give thee. Acts 3 colon 6, O, oh, the love of money is the root of all evil. I Timothy 6.10, P, Thou shalt not steal. Exodus 20.15 Books for further reading 1. Adler, Mortimer J. How to read a book published by Simon and Schuster 2. Alger, Horatio Robert Coverdale's Struggle published by Hearst and Company 3. Bodwine, Charles Suggestion, and Auto Suggestion published by the Macmillan Company 4. B.D., John Y. Luther Burbank, Plant Magician published by Julian Messner Incorporated. 5. Betger, Frank How I Raised Myself from Failure to Success in Selling, published by Prentice Hall Incorporated. 6. Binstock, Lewis The Power of Faith published by Prentice Hall Incorporated. 7. Brand, Dorothea Wake Up and Live published by Simon and Schuster 8. Brazier, Mary A.B. The Electrical Activity of the Nervous System A Textbook for Students, published by Macmillan Company. 9. Bristol, Claude M. The Magic of Believing published by Prentice Hall 10. Bristol, Claude M. and TNT, The Power Within You Sherman, Harold published by Prentice Hall 11. Burbank and Hall Training of the Human Plant published by the Century Company 12. Campbell, Walter S. Writing, Advice and Devices published by Doubleday 13. Carnegie, Andrew Autobiography of Andrew Carnegie published by Houghton Mifflin Company. 14 Carnegie, Dale How to Win Friends and Influence People published by Simon and Schuster. 15 Clark, Edwin Levitt The Art of Straight Thinking published by Appleton Century Crofts. 16 Classen, George S. The Richest Man in Babylon published by Hawthorne Books Incorporated. 17 Collier, Robert Secret of the Ages published by Robert Collier 18. Copy, Irving Introduction to Logic published by the Macmillan Company 19. Kue, Emil Self Mastery through Conscious Auto Suggestion published by American Library Service. 20 Dalton and Dewey Cycles published by Henry Holt and Company. 21 Danforth, William H. I Dare You published by the I Dare You Committee, Checkerboard Square, St. Louis 2, Missouri 22. Day, Frederick the Magic Store Ivan Rensselaer published by Divorces and Company 23. Douglas, Lloyd C. Magnificent Obsession published by Houghton Mifflin Company 24. Dumas, Alexander L. E. Question D. Argent. 25. Durant, Will the Story of Philosophy published by Simon and Schuster. 26. Eddie, Mary Baker Science and Health, with Key to the Scriptures published by Charles H. Gabriel. 27. Einstein, Albert Essays in Science published by Philosophical Library. 28. Eliot, Paul L. and Physics, A Modern Approach. Wilcox, William S. Published by the Macmillan Company 29. Franklin, Benjamin Autobiography of Benjamin Franklin 30. Freud, Sigmund An Outline of Psychoanalysis published by W. W. Norton and Company. 31 Gordon, Arthur Norman Vincent Peale, Minister to Millions published by Prentice Hall, Inc. 32 Hayakawa, S.I. Language in Thought and Action published by Harcourt, Brace and Company 33. Hill, Napoleon The Law of Success published by Ralston Society Think and Grow Rich published by Combined Registry Company How to Raise Your Own Salary published by Combined Registry Company Science of Success course published by Combined Registry Company 34 Hoover, J. Edgar Masters of Deceit published by Henry Holt and Company 35 Hudson Thompson J. The Divine Pedigree of Man published by A.C. McClurg and Company The Law of Psychic Phenomena published by A.C. McClurg and Company 36. Hunter, Edward Brainwashing published by Farrar, Strauss and Cudahy. 37 James, William Principles of Psychology published by Henry Holt and Company. 
38 Jones, Francis A. The Life Story of Thomas A. Edison published by Grosset and Dunlap. 39 Jones, Jim If You Can Count to Four published by Whitehorn Publishing Company Incorporated. 40 Kahi, Martin J. Your Greatest Power published by the Ralston Publishing Company. 41 Martin, Ores and Sweat Pushing to the Front published by Success Company 42. Mills, Clarence, M.D. Climate Makes the Man published by Harper and Brothers 43. Mount Masson, Invention, and the Unconscious Joseph Marie published by Harcourt, Brace and Company 44. More, Robert E. and Turn on the Green Lights in Your Life Schultz, Maxwell I. Published by Prentice Hall, Inc. 45 Osborne, Alex F. Applied Imagination published by Charles Scribner's Sons. Your Creative Power published by Charles Scribner's Sons 46. Overstreet, Harry, and What We Must Know About Communism Bonero published by W.W. W. Norton and Company 47. Packard, Vance the Hidden Persuaders published by David McKay Company Incorporated. 48 Peel, Norman Vincent The Power of Positive Thinking published by Prentice Hall, Inc. 49 Rhine, Joseph B. New World of the Mind published by William Sloan and Associates. The Reach of the Mind published by William Sloan and Associates. 50 Ryan, Joseph B. and Parapsychology J.C. Pratt published by C.C. Thomas 51. Rick Over, Rear Admiral Education and Freedom H.G. published by E.P. Dutton and Company 52. Scheinfeld, Amroom the New U.B. Heredity published by J.P. Lippincott 53. Sheen, Monsignor Fulton J. Life is Worth Living published by McGraw-Hill Co. 54 Smiles, Samuel Self-Help published by Belford, Clark and Company. 55 Sweetland, Ben Iken published by Cadillac Publishing Company. I Will published by Prentice Hall 56. Walker, Harold Blake Power to Manage Yourself published by Harper and Brothers 57. Walker, Mary Alice and Venture of Faith Walker, Harold Blake published by Harper and Brothers 58. Winkler, John K. John D., A Portrait in Oils published by Vanguard Press 59. Witty, Dr. Paul Andrew The Gifted Child published by D.G. Heath and Company. Pilot. 22. Thoughts to Steer by. The Amazing Power of a Bibliography. One Like Brownie Wise, Mittinger, and Castleberry, W. Clement Stone and many other managers of successful sales organizations, you can motivate yourself and others to desirable action with inspirational self-help books and CDs books and CDs that can be evaluated by actual results. Point two. Brownie Wise found it necessary to read Think and Grow Rich six times before she recognized the principles that she could apply. Then something happened. She made it happen. Point three. When you read a self-help book or listen to self-help CD. A. Concentrate. B. Read as if the author were a close personal friend and were writing to you and you alone. C. Know what you are looking for. D. Get into action Try the principles that are recommended. 4. Evaluate a self-help book by what you do to make yourself a better person and your world a better world for you and others to live in, as a result of having read the book. Point 5. You are a better person and your world will be a better world in which to live because you have read success through a positive mental attitude. Isn't that true? Succeed through a positive mental attitude.